Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So we met up for our London UK Fountain Pen Club on Saturday the 3rd of November 2018. Uh, again it was another great turnout. Uh, we met up at Beer Schenke, um in uh, London and um, we had around about 20 members that uh, attended uh, this uh, pen club. And there were also a number of uh, new faces as well that, that haven't come to the club before. So it was always uh, great to see new faces uh, turn up. So um, here's a few of the uh, pens that I took with me. Uh, and you can see here I've got some uh, Visconti Opera Masters here. Uh, this was the Corvina and the Stardust, which is a Truffet exclusive. The Visconti Watermark. The Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, the Visconti Belgica, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl, and then onto the two larger pens, the Visconti Speakeasy, uh, the Danny Trio uh, Bamboo Story Tamanuri Kidami, and then uh, two Viscontis, which are the Visconti uh, Kalido Voyager Yellow Dawn and the uh, Forest Green, and then the Penida, uh, La Grande Bellezza, and the green one is the Malachite, and then the red one is the Rhodolite. There were also another 12 pens that I took with me as well, and these were, were mostly uh, Atelier Lusso pens, and, and you may have seen some of these pens on my Instagram feed, and also the unboxing that I did for these. So uh, left to the right, the ones with the clips are the Carinas, uh, the ones without the clips are the Andromedas. So we, we have the Galaxy, we have the Black Ice, we have the Amethyst Fields, we have the Diamond Nebula, and then in the Andromedas, we have the King Cobra, the Dragon, the Tectonic Seas, the Vulcan's Forge, the Hurricane, and then we have three Leonardo Officina Italiana pens. Now, the first one is the Limited Edition Mediterraneo, and then the, the second one is uh, the... Uh, Momento Zero, uh, Positano Blue, and then the third one is the Momento Zero, and uh, that is the Horn uh, version. And you can see here that I uh, uh, had a number of the pens out, and people were trying these and, and really loving these. Uh, all of the Carinas and the Andromedas from Atelier Lusso, I have broad uh, Yovo nibs uh, in those pens um, and they write very smoothly um, and really nice writers. I've really got to, to like the Yovo uh, broad nibs. Um, I might actually try and get some medium nibs. I've got a stub nib as well uh, that I need to actually put in one of the pens as well. Uh, but at the moment I'm really liking the broad nibs. So uh, you can see here there's a number of different pens I have uh, out uh, on display here. I have the King Cobra, I have the, the Dragon, uh, I have the Tectonic Seas, I have the Vulcan's Forge, uh, and then in the Carinas I have the Black Ice uh, and also the Amethyst Fields there, and then the Black Ice and the Diamond Nebula, and then the Leonardo's and on the left here we have the Mediterraneo, and then on the right we have the Momento Zero, a Positano Blue, which uh, both of these are absolutely stunning materials uh, in their own right. Um, the the um, Mediterraneo, although it looks a little bit dull there, when you start to turn it the light catches and it looks absolutely stunning. The Positano Blue is more of a, like an oil painting type thing, and um, so there's not a lot of chatoyance that goes on in that body, but immediately you can see uh, how how bright that is. And then here you can see um, the Mediterraneo with the Positano Blue and the horn. Uh, the Mediterraneo ha is a piston filler with a 14 karat gold nib, and it's a celluloid. 
And then the two Momental Zero pens, the Positano Blue and the Horn, are cartridge converters and they have steel nibs. Now, I have a medium nib on the Mediterraneo and then on the, the, the two Momento Zeros I have broad nibs and they are all really, really good writers. And then here you can see uh, another photo of the the Carinas again and this is the um, Black uh, Ice, uh, the Amethyst Fields and the Diamond Nebula. And the black ice is absolutely stunning. It's a really lovely pen. Uh, I love the black and the orange contrasting with the white. Um, it looks very marble type, um, almost like a marble pen. Um, I, I have a couple of, uh, well, actually three marble Viscontis, um, and it looks very similar to, to some of those. Uh, and then the other one this is really stunning is that diamond nebula and it actually has real diamond dust in the the um, acrylic there and that absolutely sparkles on camera and you can see here is uh, quite a number of people here uh, eating and drinking uh, it was a really really good turnout uh, and um, you can see here, here are my pens again uh, that I took and uh, they are like the, the the ones really that a lot of people started to, to play with were the Carinas and the Andromedas, the Leonardos, uh, also the uh, Visconti Speakeasy and the uh, Danny Trio as well, just because of the, the sheer size of those pens. They are massive, massive pens. So this is a pen that Terry uh, brought with him. Uh, this is an Onotto, uh, which is a UK pen. And it was actually a commemorative pen for the 2013 Diamond Jubilee of uh, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And um, this was a really, really lovely pen. So I'm glad I actually got to, to see and, and try that pen. Um, Terry also brought along with him uh, another lovely pen. And uh, this was the Platinum President uh, Izumo Tagayasan uh, Bombay Blackwood with brown gloss Yurushi. Uh, now, I probably mispronounced that name, but um, again, it was a stunning pen. It was quite long, uh, and I've not actually seen some of these uh, um, platinum president pens before so again it was really good to to be able to 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 look at that and and try uh, that as well and then we have a number of leonardo pens here uh from left to right uh we have the leonardo uh officina italiana uh, momento zero and this is the red i think it's just called the red version and then we have um this was um um, brought by uh, Rupert to the club and then we have my three pens again which are the the Leonardo Mediterraneo and you can see there the body how it, how the light is reflecting off of that and then we have the two Momento Zeros the Positano Blue and the Horn and then Rupert also brought a, a Delta pen that, that he'd also bought along with the, the red Leonardo pen uh, at um, the, the London UK pen show in October so uh, it was good to, to actually uh, see those and uh, uh, play with those and Rupert brought along a, a Mont Blanc a Meisterstruck 12 and it's quite a small um, uh, Mont Blanc uh, or small in comparison to my Mont Blanc 149 which I just happened to bring along so I thought it would be really good to um, uh, not only have a play with that but also uh, take a photo of, of the two together uh, and again that was another acquisition from Rupert and uh, uh, it's actually really good to see the size difference between the uh, Meisterstruck 12 and the Mont Blanc 149 it's almost opposite ends of the scale uh, in terms of of the uh, Mont Blanc range of pens uh, I also brought uh, with me uh, my um, Pelican M600 turquoise white and also an M800 Renaissance brown uh, and uh, Cameron had asked if I could bring those he was looking at uh, getting 
uh, the the new M600, uh, I think it was Vibrant Orange, and uh, he wanted to see the difference um, between that. He has an M1000 at the moment, um, and uh, really see the difference. So he bought his M1000, I bought the M600, uh, and an M800 as well, so we were really able to sort of see the difference there, and you can see that in this photo too. Uh, he was also looking at uh, uh, potentially picking up a C. Uh, he was also looking at potentially picking up a Sailor Rialo, and I don't have a Sailor Rialo, but I do have a Sailor 1911 large with a Naganata Togi nib. So I brought that along as well uh, as as the Mont Blanc uh, 149. So uh, that was uh, uh, a good thing to be able to sort of try for Cameron so he could actually sort of uh, see the difference there. So it was actually a really good um, pen meetup. There were about 20 of us at the, the pen club. Uh, it was also uh, Ali's last time uh, at the pen club. Uh, she's uh, uh, moving away. Um, but uh, we also had, uh, um, th I think it was three new members that, that attended. Uh, so it was actually a really good pen club again with around about 20 people in attendance and uh, that's one thing I do like about the London Pen Club is that there are normally around a good sort of 20 people sometimes we even sort of hit 30 on some of the summer months and uh, it really allows us to sort of play around and, and test a, a whole lot of pens uh, and uh, the, the only challenge really is trying to to take a different set of pens each month uh, with you um, in past months, I've I've taken uh, a ridiculously silly amount of pens with me. I, I've taken sort of really around 30 to 40 pens. This month, I, I travelled a little bit lighter because I was finding my rucksack was a little bit heavy. So uh, I think I took, it was uh, two 12-pen cases, there's 24, and then I had, I think it was four other pens. So it was uh, 28 pens in total. Still, it's, it's a lot of pens to carry around. But um, and also uh, we um, uh, did a group buy as well for some Akamon ink. So I had uh, an empty 120 milliliter bottle of Akamon uh, to give to Gary Dapperman, and also a um, 60 mil bottle of SBRE Brown ink from Akamon to uh, to give Gary as well. So I was pretty laden down uh, this this month. So that was really the the, the main reason to um, uh, reducing the amount of pens because uh, I'd already had a quite a lot to to carry with me. But uh, so there you have it. That's the, the London UK uh, Fan Pen Club for uh, November. Um, we'll be meeting again in uh, December and uh, hopefully, uh, normally December is quite a, a um, good turnout. Uh, we should be meeting on the first Saturday of the month, which will be the 1st of December. Uh, if anybody is in the UK or in London and going to be around um, London on the 1st of December, then feel free to come along. Um, you can actually find the details on my website at penultimatedave.com under the uh, Phantom Pen Club section uh, and it has the dates that we meet up both there for the London Phantom Pen Club but also the UK South Fountain Pen Club and also the actual location so that you can actually uh, uh, find out where, where to, to turn up. So thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye. <laughs>